ओके सो लास्ट टॉपिक वॉज वीलैन यस सो in vlan we have discussed about the virtual local area network and vlan is used to break the broadcast domain vlan is used to break the broadcast domain for example i have one lan network and i have to divide that lan network into two parts three parts four parts so i have to use the topic vlan if you have not watched the video of vlan then please watch the video of vlan topic because today we are going to discuss about inter virtual local area network so inter vlan inter vlan topic belongs to switching module okay that that description is inter virtual local area network like vlan is used to break the broadcast domain inter vlan is used to is used to connect okay two or more than two two different broadcast domain okay two different broadcast domain like with different network id different network id on a same switch okay Okay, so last topic was okay. First, you are doing this topic after so many days. So last topic was I have used switch. Okay, in switch, so I am going to explain VLAN concept also today. This is the first topic. Like switch is connected with PC number one, two, three, four, five, six. So the IP addresses was like ten zero zero one, ten zero zero two, ten zero zero three, four, five, six. So they all have with connected with one same network ID and with same broadcast ID. So what was the VLAN? VLAN was like like you want to like break the broadcast domain. These three PCs are like. HR department. I am just taking an example. Okay, and these three PCs belongs to marketing department. Like these PC belongs to HR department. These PC belong to marketing department. IP addresses belongs to same network ID. Ten zero zero one, ten zero zero two, ten zero zero three, four, five, six. So my company says HR PCs. like not able to ping with marketing pc because different broadcast domain vlan number 2 and vlan number 3 was there so in my last video i have done the concept like how to create vlan 2 how to create vlan 3 but in today's topic the concept is for example hr pcs are connected with each other like 10001 10002 10003 and marketing peoples are connected like 20001 20002 20003 now on same switch i have two different network ids so it is not possible to connect 10001 with 10002 so in today's topic like in interview and topic we have to connect different broadcast domain with different network ids with each other so that topic is also known as router on a stick this topic is also renamed as router on a stick so let me start uh, this practical on cisco packet tracer so first of all i will uh, start the practical with vlan concept that we have done uh, before that before holidays because after so many days you are taking class so let's start so on that practical on cisco packet tracer i'm going to share the screen with you guys so this is my cisco packet tracer now first of all i have to use one switch okay and that switch is connected with 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and also the concept is connect pcs with switch 
Okay. And now I'm using the IP address like this. 10.0.0.1. Okay, I'm, I'm using uh, like 248. 255.255.248. So I'm using gateway like 10.0.0.6. My deep, this IP address is 10.0.0.2.255.255.255.248. And uh, gateway is 10.0.0.6. So same as on third PC, I'm using Ten zero zero three two five five two five five two five five two forty eight ten zero zero six. Now I have used this network with ten zero 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 slash twenty nine, and I'm going to use this network with a different network ID. So I'm going to use twenty zero zero one. Twenty zero zero six. Twenty zero zero two. Twenty zero zero six. Twenty zero zero three. Twenty zero zero six. So in my last topic, the network ID was same but they are not pinging with each other due to VLAN topic. But today we have to connect this 10 network with the 20 network with the help of inter VLAN because it is used to connect to broadcast domain. Now, first of all, in our last topic, what we have done, we have done the topic of VLAN. Okay, VLAN. So those students who have not taken the class of VLAN, so they can do practical over there. Like on switch, you have to use enable configure terminal. So I'm going to use VLAN number two here and VLAN number three here. So by default, you all know that do show VLAN. All the ports of switch F0 by 1, 2, 3 up to this are the member of VLAN 1 by default. So what I'm going to do, I'm making two VLAN, VLAN number 2, which name is HR. And I'm making VLAN number 3, which name is Marketing Exit. Now do show VLAN. You can check we have two another VLANs are there. HR and marketing, that, that you already done in last topic. Now my next task is port number F0 by one, F0 by two, F0 by three. You have to put all these three port into VLAN number two. So you have to use the command interface range FA zero by one, two, three. Switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 2 exit and port number 4, 5, and 6 should be the member of VLAN number 3. Interface range FA 0 by 4 to 6. Sorry, interface range FA. 0 by 4 to 6, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 3. What is the effect of this? The effect of this is port number 1, 2, 3 are the member of 2, port number 4, 5, 6 are the member of 3. So in my last topic, I have done this topic like same VLAN, same network ID, 10, all the peop uh, people's, all the PCs are connected with each other with a 10, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But when we divide it in VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, they are not able to ping with each other. 
but today my topic is to connect different vlan so this is the opposite topic opposite topic of vlan so in today's topic i have to use any router with this like for example i have used this router and with the help of this router i will connect these two different broadcast domain with each other so first of all you have to set up trunk on f0 by 7 because the port that is connected to which port mode trunk the port that is connected to router so this is the all all thing these are the all things that we have discussed in my previous topic so what to do on router so practically i will show in to your notepad now if you are doing inter vlan then on your router you have to use the concept of sub interface in inter vlan you have to use the concept of sub interface like you have to divide f0 by 0 into two parts because you have 10 and 20 network so you have to write on your router because there is no extra theory for this topic only practical is there enable configure terminal interface f0 by 0 no shutdown you don't have to give ip address so the concept is concept of sub interface so you have to put no shut here and you have to divide this f0 by 0.1 like you can divide this because on first point i will use ip address 10006 for my vlan number 2 and for f0 by 0.2 i will use ip address 200648 but the main concept is can vlans connect with each other no so if you want to connect vlan 2 with vlan 3 you have to change the encapsulation of sub interface because if you provide f0 by 0.123 any number then and you are trying to give ip address then there will be a notification configuring ip routing on a lan sub interface is only allowed if that sub interface is already configured as a part of ieee 802.10 now what is this 802.1q and isl vlan so what is the meaning of this so the meaning of this line is if you are providing ip address to sub interface then you are not able to provide ip address with a default encapsulation you have to change the encapsulation into 802.1q this is the ieee encapsulation used to connect to different broadcast like you have to command encapsulation dot 1q this is f0 by 0.1 and also you have to add vlan number 2 with this now you can i give ip address to this interface understand wait i will let you know on second interface f0 by 0.2 encapsulation dot 1q3 vlan number 3 ip address 200003 248 exit so you can check and moving cursor on this you can check f0 by 0.1 1003 f0 by 0.2 2003 sorry i have given 2003 but i have taken gateway sorry i have to give ip address 1006 sorry 2006 because gateway i have taken 2006 10006 okay now you can check now 
टेन पीसी कैन पिंग विद राउटर ट्वेंटी पीसी कैन पिंग विद राउटर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन पिंग दिस पीसी विद दिस पीसी सक्सेसफुल now they are not pinging with the help of switch if you will check on simulation they are not pinging with the help of switch you can click on switch switch go to the packet on router router send packet back to switch and then they are pinging with each other while in simple lan what is the topic in simple lan if you want to ping the networks like this you can check the broadcast and ping with each other only switch to switch but if you want to connect different network ids or different vlan with each other then they can ping only with the help of router so this is the concept of inter vlan the last topic was vlan is used to break the broadcast domain like within vlan you can not ping with the same network id while in inter vlan you can ping with different network id so your task is to connect this type of vlan different vlans with each other with the help of inter vlan thank you